The Salesforce Spring 23 release is upon us and it's packed full of new and enhanced features. I'm Christine Marshall, Courses and Community Director at Salesforce Ben. Our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career, so whether you're just starting out or have a few years under your belt, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. Stay tuned for my top 10 hottest release features for Salesforce admins. Spoiler alert, some features expected in Summer 23 have been released early. Let's get started with the updated Migrate to Flow tool, which now supports the migration of process builders. Previously only available to migrate workflow rules, you can now use the tool to convert your process builders to Flow. Be warned, the Flow migration tool is not all that's needed for a successful Migrate to Flow solution. First, you should review and optimize all existing automations and map them into a solution for Flow Builder. Simply replacing each workflow or process builder with a Flow is a quick way to build technical debt. For more guidance, check out our brand new free Migrate to Flow course on Salesforce Ben Courses. The Salesforce Dynamic Forms team deserve a big round of applause. We weren't expecting Dynamic Forms for cases until summer 23, but they've gone above and beyond to release Dynamic Forms for leads and cases in Spring 23. If you haven't yet started using Dynamic Forms, then check out our complete guide and tutorial on the blog. Dynamic related lists were an amazing new feature in 2022, but unfortunately missing a critical piece of functionality, the ability to view all records in a related list. From Spring 23, Dynamic Related Lists will include a view or link so that users can navigate to see the full list of related records. Previously only available for account, case, contact, lead, and opportunity for desktop, Dynamic Actions are now available for all standard objects. Instead of scanning an endless list of actions, your users will be presented with a simple choice relevant to their role profile or when a record meets certain criteria. Check out our complete tutorial on the blog to get started. There are far too many truly exciting updates to tell you about to limit this section to one or two, so strap in for a bumper section on reports and dashboards. First up, the ability to create personalized report filters. You can think of this new capability as a bit like creating a dynamic dashboard where the dashboard is set to view as the logged in user, thereby giving every user that looks at it their own personalized view. You can now create a dynamic report filter based on the viewing user so that they view records pertinent to them. For example, instead of creating multiple reports that are filtered by specific opportunity owners, you can use a relative value to filter by the opportunity owner equals user, the current user viewing the report. Users in unlimited edition orgs can now subscribe to up to 15 reports and 15 dashboards. Previously, they could only subscribe to seven reports and seven dashboards. You can now create a custom report type to see which reports, dashboards, and other analytic assets users are subscribed to. Use collections to group and organize reports and dashboards, even if they exist in separate folders for easier navigation. You can then pin collections to your homepage and share them with other users. Dashboard filters have been increased from three to five in unlimited edition orgs. This feature is currently in beta. An often underutilized feature, forecasting in Sales Cloud has seen plenty of fantastic updates over the last few releases. Spring 23 is no different and sees the ability to design and build custom forecast pages using the Lightning App Builder. Your pages can include standard and custom components, and you can create and assign different layouts for different users. Switching on the basic data import in Salesforce Setup will enable a new feature for users of Sales Cloud. It provides a guided wizard to import leads or contacts. The new wizard provides a simple interface that walks them through the steps to import a CSV file. Users will require import permissions for contacts or leads to use this feature. 
In complex businesses, there is often no single person responsible for the success of a deal. Frequently, it will be a team effort or perhaps cross-selling across departments. Splits allow you to track and share credit across multiple team members. Previously, splits were done at the opportunity level, but from the Spring 23 release, the ability to do splits at the product level will be in pilot. This next update is small but mighty. You can now track up to six fields for tasks and events when you turn on field history tracking for activities. Picklist fields saw a lot of love in 2022 with multiple new features being released in beta. The following features will be generally available in the spring at 23 release. Clean up inactive picklist values, bulk manage picklist values, and limit the number of inactive picklist values. There are also two new standard picklist fields available on leads, contacts, and person accounts, gender identity, and pronouns. For a complete breakdown of what's new for Salesforce picklists, check out Andrea's deep dive on the Salesforce Ben blog. Well, that concludes our top 10 hottest features for Salesforce admins from the spring 23 release. We hope you enjoyed it. There were so many amazing ones to choose from. Did we miss any out? And what are you most excited about using? Let us know in the comments below, especially if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like this.